y'all, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. So if you follow me on social media, you know that I've had some kind of struggles over the last month or so. Um, I've had some pretty personal losses that have been hard to deal with, but I am back. I am regrouping and we are going to keep this thing going. So thank you for being here. I appreciate it. In today's video, I take a satellite dish and turn it into a dog bed. Let's see how it turns out. My entire house is in total disarray from way too many projects going all at once. So I threw down a sheet in the hallway, brought in the nasty satellite dish and put it down on the sheet so I could start disassembling it. I was pleasantly surprised to find out that there were only four bolts holding the whole thing on and they were relatively easy to get off and they all used the same size socket. I know there's some really cool stuff you can do with the satellite components, but I do not have time to research a new project, so I just put it out for the recyclers. So the surface of the dish was kind of irregular and it was really weathered and had different kind of textures on it based on how much sun and weather exposure it had gotten. So I decided to go for a hammered finish, uh, spray paint, so it would kind of disguise any irregularities um, in the finish. And I'm relatively happy with it. Really? Since I didn't know how well this was gonna work, I didn't wanna spend the money buying real furniture legs. So I came up with the cheapest possible option and that was these banister like spindle railings. And I just cut them in a few places to use those as legs. Um, I've had this miter box for a while and I love it. Highly recommended. The hammered finish does not show up on wood. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help the YouTube algorithm and it lets me know how I'm doing. Everything that you need to know about today's video and all my socials are in the description box below. Now I'm sure all of this would have worked much better if I had measured everything out because I just kind of put these legs on here however I felt. <laughs> um, I used both E6000, which is a long-term kind of glue, and I also used hot glue for the short-term hold because uh, gravity. And um, I wanted to make sure that the legs didn't fall off while I was waiting for the E6000 to kick in and, and take hold. And yes, I had to do this multiple times. I am definitely going to screw them in um, if I actually intend on allowing my dog to sleep on it. If I were actually going to use this as a dog bed, I would definitely put a thicker, more permanent kind of padding on it that could be removed and washed. And I would also definitely screw the legs in uh, for stability. So I guess I'll try putting a different pad in it and see what happens. I mean, Extra got in it because he's a good boy and I told him to, but I don't know how much he really likes it yet. Well, y'all, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then I hope you'll consider subscribing because I would love to see you back here next week when I do more stuff. Bye.